So I wanted to do a video of kind of how I create this big rock into uh, uh, something that can go into the rock crusher and get crushed into gravel. Um, we have all sorts of shapes and sizes, but this is a pretty good size one. It's uh, about hip height to me, so three feet or so. Um, I've been working at this one for a while. Uh, it's It was like twice the size. Well, let me show you what I started with, kind of the progression of, of how I kind of make this one smaller. So what I originally started thinking was the best was to use these masonry bits. Um, this one is a 5 8 inch um, drill bit. And the problem that, oh well, you drill a hole with that. And then you use a, uh, this is called a wedge, feather and wedge, I believe. Um, so you put that one in the hole and then you hit it with the hammer and it's going to spread it apart and it will crack the rocks. <clears throat> what I found was that these drill bits that I was getting from Harbor Freight, I mean, the rocks we have here are like granite or something really tough so you can see it just uh chips away at this carbide bit and i'm barely pushing on it you know just uh not trying to burn up these bits but anyways um that one you have to drill it down to like six inches or at least the length of this uh, uh what is it called feather and wedge to get it to split so you allow this wedge to get in there but we kind of upgraded to this one which is a three-quarter inch um, you got to drill the hole deeper and it takes it a lot longer it's like five or six minutes each hole and sometimes it just cracks at the very top just cracks at the very top of the rock it doesn't crack all the way through which is very frustrating because then you got half a hole and you know it's kind of kind of useless so i found this thing called micro shaving online that's been used by i think cave divers uh, a lot of people use those for breaking rocks so they can get into the cave um, that they can't get into what they do is they drill a quarter inch Here's the drill bit. It, you can kind of see the difference, how much smaller it is. Uh, this is a quarter inch, um, I think it's S, SDS, or I'm sorry, 5 16 says on the drill bit. 5 16 drill bit, and it goes a lot faster. And what, what I do is I drill, drill a hole, and then I put a, uh, ram set or a 22 blank in there and because it's uh this is a bigger rock and you gotta get you need more force to break it apart i put two of them down down the hole and then uh you put a pad and a striker pin with the a big counterweight on the back end and you hit it with the hammer and it compresses this and you can kind of see inside the rock here this is a good view it explodes and that force has to go somewhere and there's not enough uh, room for it to escape out the top so it fractures the rock which is pretty awesome <laughs> so what i found that works the best is that if you drill holes that are close together like i think this is like three or four inches you drill, drill a few holes. I, I think this is like five or six holes in a row, and then you just start exploding them. <laughs> the whole rock kind of crumbles after that. And the beauty of, of uh, this is the explosion happens inside the rock instead of the force happening on the outside. Um, that's good because it it kind of. See, I mean, look at all the fracture lines just from like one hit. Instead of if I used that big wedge, I would have probably just got maybe one 
one crack. It just kind of crumbles the rock, which is awesome. So let me show you a demonstration. Uh, so just hold on a second. Let me set you down. And here's this is the rock. I drilled one hole. <clears throat> I'm gonna put those two ram sets, uh, 22 blanks in there, and cover it with the mat and put the striker pin and hit it a few times. And you'll see what happens to the rock. <laughs> I mean, it's, this rock is probably um, 16 inches, 16 by like 12, and then it's, oh, I don't know, that's like eight inches tall. So, let me give you a demonstration here. Well, come on, stay. It puts a smile on my face, I'll tell you that for sure. Uh, so, anyways, I, I mean, there's a lot of force in that. And uh, these rocks are very brittle, I found. So, if you don't put two of them in there, it uh, it won't do anything, really. You won't see a, a, uh, a fracture line. So, right now, these are two pieces that could go in the rock crusher. And those can turn into gravel. This one probably needs maybe one more, uh, like maybe right there in the middle, break it up in half. So, um, let's see here. Um, I mean, it works really well. If you're looking to get, if you're looking to break up rocks, this is the method to do. Um, and yeah, I am. I mean, I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you have any questions, um, let me know, and I'll try to answer them the best I can. And uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.